Hey guys, today we're going to make a foldable. This is something that I'm going to have you use to help you out with stoichiometric calculations as you go through worksheets and practice problems. I want you to make it today so tomorrow we can add some information and add example problems so we can then go ahead and use it in class. So the first thing you need are four pieces of white paper. So there are, pa there are stacks of paper in the classroom. Go ahead and grab four pieces and I want you to stack them directly on top of each other. Then I want you to stagger those pieces of paper. So I'm going to pull the first one out to have about an inch of it showing. So there you see the little inch of paper showing. Then pull the second one out so there's about an inch showing. And then the third one out so there's about an inch showing. So what you're seeing here is a little stagger of the pieces. And then I'm going to line them up I'm going to take this top piece and fold it over so it creates an inch overlay. And then I'm going to take the next piece and fold it over. And I'm going to take the next piece and fold it over. And the last piece and fold it over. So now I have this little file folder of papers. Now I'm going to take my stapler and I'm going to staple across the top. But I want to make sure my paper is as close to the fold as possible. And I'm going to staple once, twice, three times. Okay, so there we go. Now, on the top, right here, I'm going to write stoichiometry. And this is going to be my sample set that I'm going to be able to use as I work through practice problems. On the first flap, I'm going to write number one, question. And this is going to be the question that's going to be asked of us. In class tomorrow, we're going to add some more information to that slide or to that piece so we can actually give an example problem of what a question will look like. On flap two, I'm going to write balance the equation. On flap three, I'm going to write Find the moles of the known substance. Flap four is find the coefficient ratio. Flap five is find the mole ratio ratio apparently I don't know how to spell today flap six find the mass of the unknown or asked substance And step seven, use conservation of mass to check. And right now, I don't think any of this is supposed to make any sense to you. Okay, we are going to talk about it in class. We're going to go through and, and give examples and actually fill in what each of these items is going to look like. So where it says question, you're going to write a question where it says balance the equation, we're actually going to go through and balance the equation. So I'm going to not only have what you should be doing for each of the steps on each line, but an example following each of the steps on each line. So again, this is your goal today in class is to make this little foldable. Make sure you have all of your titles and all of your numbers done. And tomorrow when I come back, we are going to go ahead and fill in all of the information.